What's up everybody? This is Andrew for your very first review on this channel. The review is of the Horror Pack limited edition Blu-ray of Cell Count. It is a film that is signed by what's the dude's name? Todd Freeman, who wrote, directed, and edited this film. So it's a straight up independent film. It's about a man's wife is dying from some kind of disease they didn't really go into detail and so the man's options are either they make her as comfortable as possible while she slowly dies or they do this testing treatment type thing you know we've all heard that synopsis before we could save your wife but this is just an experimental phase all that crap so the man of course goes that route now part of the deal is, is that he has to be part of the experimental treatment too. So fast forward three weeks later, they wake up in a prison facility. Okay. Along with other people. Now none of these people are inmates except for a couple. It's one of the reasons why they're in prison. I, I'm, I'm trying to avoid spoilers, but... They play a crucial part. So that's the general synopsis. And they have this supposed cure for uh, this, this disease. So one thing I liked about it is that it's straight up independent. Which means, you know, you can tell it's low budget. The acting is... Mm. But you can tell they really put forth an effort to produce a good movie on the budget that they had. Now, does that mean it's good? Yes and no. I mean, it could be a lot worse. There's great things in it. Now, the cool sci-fi twist in this movie, twist, is where the cure comes in. The cure is not your common cure. Yeah. It's very sci fi. Mm hmm. Practical effects are really good in this. Um, some pretty gruesome stuff. There's some that will upset a lot of people. Oh, well, there's one scene in particular. Let's just say it involves something exploding that people will be sad about. Um,. One thing I don't like about it is the pacing. The pacing of the movie never really picks up. It just kind of just stays at the same monotone. Even when it starts getting all weird at the end. Which, this is not a surprise because it's on the case here. Good old Daniel Baldwin makes an ugly appearance at the end of this movie. The, one of the lesser known Baldwin brothers. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, speaking of the practical effects, like you see, you got this guy. He's kind of got like a, a an anus for a mouth. That part's pretty freaky. But anyways, overall, do I recommend this movie? Mm, yeah, yeah. If you if you like independent films, uh, it's definitely worth a watch. I would say if you can get past the. Subpar acting, like I've seen a lot worse acting. Um, so yeah, and I think the only way you can check it out is through Horror Pack or borrow it from a friend. So there you have it. Check it out. Like I don't even have a rating system. Let's give it a rating here. This dude just. I give it out of five. I give it two and a half. Two and a half, I don't know, cell counts out of five. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I hope this review helps you out. If you want a spoiler-filled review, let me know. And I will see you all in the next video. Catch you later.